Yo, this is Computer Tips and Hacks, and today's latest tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use a program called Type VNC where you can connect to different computers around the world without using the Wi Fi connection. Okay, first thing you want to do is go to your web browser. Go to Google and type type BNC. Make sure the website say typebnc.com. Now it's going to bring you to a web page. It's going to say type BNC software. What you want to do is go over to the right side of the page and click download now it's going to bring you to another page that actually looks like the same page that you were just on click on the latest version of type vnc and as you can see it's loading I'm going to bring you to this website called sourceforward.net. Okay, then it's going to come up. Uh, it's going to, the setup is going to come up. It's going to ask you, do you want to save or cancel? Just click save. But I already saved it and it started, so I'm not going to save it again. Okay, once once Type VNC have finished installing, it's gonna come up on your desktop in this folder right here. Just double click on it. Okay, it's loading. Okay, then the setup is gonna come up again. It's gonna say setup. Blast, type in C, welcome to blah blah blah. Just keep clicking next. Some people, some people prefer not to do all this. Is, yeah. See, some people want to register. I just keep clicking next until I see install. I'm going to cancel because I already installed it. So, okay. Now once it's finished installing, it's not going to automatically show up on your desktop. Just go over to your start menu, click start, all programs, and it should start show up at the bottom of your start menu page. Okay, type BNC. Just click on launch type BNC server. See, I already have a one running, so I'm going to open it and show you how it's going to look once you click on Type in C server. Okay, once you click on that, it's going to bring you to this right here. Okay, you just like put in a password or whatever you want to do. Okay, it's going to say hooks and all that. You can just change it. I, I I haven't really changed anything yet, although I do have a password. So just you know, put in your password or whatever you want to do. So once you finish that, go over to back to the start menu, all programs, type VNC, then click type VNC viewer. And this is going to come up. What you want to put in this is an IP address. You know, IP address is the, the address of your computer and the PC that you are using. So, what you want to do is put in the IP address. Like, to, I'm going to show you how to find your IP address. Go over. It's 
it's gonna be a little computer thing at the bottom. Right click, then click status. Now this is gonna come up. Just click on support, but I'm not gonna click on support because I don't want anybody getting my IP address. So okay, now you just like put in an IP address for the computer you want to connect to. Now make sure that the, the computer that you are connecting to have Type VNC installed and have it running. Okay, so when you have Type VNC running on the other computer, you just put in the IP address of that computer and um, make sure that it's running. Then it's going to automatically connect you to that computer. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this. And that's it. This was computer tips and hacks. And I hope my tutorial really helped you guys out. Okay, peace out.